Welcome to Technical Studies. In this video, we will learn how to read a piping isometric drawing. This piping is part of the tank farm area and connected to process plant area. We will examine the drawing in detail after reading the notes and the material list. Take a look at the east west and north south directions. Compare the 3D model with the drawing. The pipe, which travels from the east to the west, turns 90 degree to the south and goes up. Again turns 90 degree to the east and goes to the east-south direction, 45 degree. Let me read the important notes. All dimensions are in millimeter, unless otherwise specified. All drains and vents to be site welded. Wherever field welds are indicated, an extra length 150 mm has been included on the pipe cut piece. This is the most important thing to be remembered during fabrication. Assume that the actual length of the pipe is 1000 mm. You need cut a 1150 mm long pipe if a field weld symbol is shown in the drawing. Let us check the bill of material. Mark number 1. 8 inch pipe, bevel end, schedule 20, ASTM A106, grade B, seamless. 26.3 meters. Mark number 2. 8 inch 45 degree long radius elbow, but weld, schedule 20. The quantity is 1. Mark number 3. 8 inch 90 degree long radius elbow, but weld, schedule 20. The quantity is 3. Mark number 4. 8 inch weld neck flange, race face, 150 pound, smooth finish, schedule 20. The quantity is 1. Mark number 5. 8 inch gasket, 150 pound, 4.5 mm thick, spiral wound, compressed non asbestos filled, metallic gasket. The quantity is 1. Mark number 6. 3 4 inch, stud bolt, the length is 108 mm. 2 nuts and 2 washers per stud. The quantity is 8 numbers. Let us go to the drawing. There are five supports in this piping. See the field fit up weld sign. You need to add extra 150 millimeters on this pipe. This is a slopped pipe. The ratio of the slope is 1 is to 500, means there is 1 millimeter slope in every 500 millimeters length of the pipe. Assume that the length of the pipe is 1000 millimeters, the slope will be 2 millimeters.
Horizontal hatch lines indicates the pipe rotors horizontally. This drawing is the continuation of sheet number one of this drawing. There are four spools in this piping. A spool may contain pipes, pipe fittings, valves, etc. and fitted together. Thank you for watching.